If you are one of those parents who would never be caught dead without the hand sanitizer, this next segment may be a little tough for you to take, but trust me, this is a necessary intervention. It turns out a little dirt may actually be a good thing. Immunologist Mary Rubish is the author of the new book, Why Dirt is Good, and she says playing in the dirt might actually help your kid's health. Mary, good to have you with us this morning. Pleasure to be here. For a lot of people, especially these days when it seems like everything has to be antibacterial, this is so counterintuitive that it's, it's a little scary. Absolutely, and I understand that, but it's so important for children to develop their immune responses. And without exposure, this cannot happen. You even said in the book, which, which I was surprised, in the 80s, as there was a rise in asthma and food allergies, type 1 diabetes, irritable bowel syndrome, multiple sclerosis, can these really be linked to us taking too many germs out of our lives? It's called the hygiene hypothesis, and it's been around since 1989. It's not new information, but absolutely, the failure to expose your children to normal environmental things causes your immune response to turn inward on itself. And so the development of allergies and what we call autoimmune disease is clearly related to the increase in cleanliness so you're in saying our society. There, there really is some science behind it. But then again, I mean, we don't want to tell parents to go too extreme and just never wash your child. We were talking quickly in the break and I said, well, you know, I, I mean, I clean my child, but I'm not obsessive about hand sanitizer. But yet I said, of course, we wash his hands before every meal. And you said, well, should I not do that? It seems kind of disgusting. I have a colleague who recommends that when children come in from playing, they should not be washing their hands. They should be licking their fingers before a meal. Even after you've been on the subway in New York City, I mean, who knows what's been on those? You know, if you're holding onto a pole or, or at a playground somewhere, I mean, where do you draw the line? It's difficult to draw the line. But as a parent, I would simply say, relax. Mother Nature has built children in order to absorb germs in the environment. The human species has not been on this planet for as long as it has without having an unbelievable, miraculous immune response. So let your child be a child. Dirt is good. If your child isn't coming in dirty every day, they're not doing their job. They're not building their immunological army. So it's terribly important. And that's, your, and that's your first step. I know you have five simple immune boosts. The first one is to let kids play in the dirt. You also say when it comes to washing your hands, use just regular old soap and water, but it is so hard if you go into any store to find a soap that's not antibacterial hand soap. Absolutely, and this is one of the things that I suspect I'm not gonna be getting a Valentine card from the, per, <laughs> from the sellers of antibacterial washes. Probably not, um, but, but regular soap is best. Vaccines, is staying up to date, very important. Absolutely, vaccinations are an artificial way of exposing yourself and your child to things that may not be encountered naturally. It causes them to meet the germ mm -hmm. without getting ill from it. So and, it's very important. And then learn how to fight it. I know you also say make sure you take care of yourself. And lastly, common sense. Absolutely. This is what to me is so lacking from our society today. Mothers are given this very terrible message that they're not a good parent unless they are being obsessive about cleanliness. I know that message. It comes at every parent's group that you encounter with a two-year-old. But from here on out, I'm not going to let them get to me. Good. I'm not washing my kids' hands anywhere. There you go. <laughs> Mary Rubish, great to have you with us. The book, Why Dirt? is good. For more tips on boosting your child's immune system or maybe even your own, log on to our partner in health coverage, webmd.com, and search for immune system.